In our last episode, chapter 5, we talked about how the dark priestess was sent to Miami to find Avravi. After the mission was accomplished, she was to report back to the Ohio River and allow the neo-Nazi Tennessee mountain man Jack Miller to raise her two little boys into men. Now we go on to chapter 6. The next child of Betty Oliver Hemsley was Nancy. The next in line, her next child was Nancy. Nancy flew over the cuckoo's nest. It's a sad story. Aunt Nancy was born the prettiest and the most clever of all the seven children. But around two or three years old, she fell down a flight of cement stairs. She injured her brain. And the doctors back then were not much better than today. The doctors removed quite a bit of the front section of her brain. She was never the same after that. She was able to talk. She was able to smoke cigarettes. She was able to insult you or laugh or cry or scream. But she could not do numbers or she could not live a normal life. She was basically retarded after the operation. At some point, I don't know the exact year, but she was put into a mental institution. I'm sure you remember the movie Jack Nicholson played in, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Well, that is where they put Aunt Nancy. If the dark priestess did one good deed in her entire life, it was this. When the dark priestess came back from Miami in 1965 and found out that they had put Nancy in the cuckoo's nest, Patricia went to the Cambridge Mental Institution and took Nancy out of that hellhole and brought her back to Grandma and Pop-Pop's Quonset hut where she could at least find a little peace. After Grandma died in 1977 and then Pop-Pop died in 1985, Aunt Nancy had nowhere to go. The dark priestess, Patricia, took her in and looked after her till the day that Nancy died. Who said that a dark priestess does not have a soul?